Hey, what's up guys, it's Cole here. So earlier in another different video, I talked about, you know, kind of what you need to have in a portfolio. Now I'm gonna kind of really dive into that so you, so you can look at different aspects of your portfolio. Let's say you're a model, let's say you're an actor, whatever it is, whatever you're trying to do to grow your influence, you need to have an excellent portfolio. So if you're looking as a model, modeling, acting, you know, any kind of entertainment, all those things are very closely connected, you know? One person go from modeling to acting to another thing. It's very easy, especially if you have an excellent portfolio. As a model, don't just have photos, have videos. Have videos showing how well you can talk, how well you enunciate, how well you can portray a different personality. You know, as an actor, same thing. Don't just have straight video reels. Have photos so people can see what you're like. Videos convey a lot of information, but sometimes a photo can get just as much, inf as much information across as that video because sometimes the videos might just go on too long it's gonna bore them they're gonna get out of the way it's one thing you need to do but as in both of these whether it's a video whether it's photos what you need to do is be able to show all everything you have to offer don't just go in and have you know 12 different photos of you in the same dress or the same shirt or same outfit with the same face have different outfits have different posture show different expressions because what it does is it lets the potential magazine, business owner, whatever it is, company that you would work with, it shows them what all you can do. It gives yourself a better chance of getting in. Because if they see, they might be wanting to, one person who can do this, but then they see you can do something else, that might play off and might work even better for you and for them. So you need to make sure you have a wide variety of things you can show that like you're it's like almost having a toolbox you don't just have one hammer to do everything else you have to have a wide variety of tools in there to get the job done